What's up trade fetties, Migoy here back again with another video of the Yu-Gi-Oh! products. Today we're going to be taking a look at another 2019 gold sarcophagus tin. Uh, found these at Comic Odyssey for a more reasonable price than whatever Courtside was offering them. Like, you know, I love Courtside, but Christ, man, the prices on this is jacked up in that store. So this was going for around 30 bucks, as opposed to the 50 plus, like, 55 or near 60 that Quartzside was selling them for so definitely went for this instead Hopefully I get the other promos that I would like like an obelisk would be cool Because I don't have that one yet So yep, that's it. Just take off the wrapping Ooh, Get some goodness in there. Neil Kaiser glider. What do you do? right this come in a single pack and like I swear this Gold Sark is like mega cool, but like, come on, <laughs> what a waste of space. At, at the very least, I would have liked the insert to be nicer, but that's, that's all right. That's all right. That's not the point. Collectible tin. Let's open these up. Also, using the new lights this time around. No diffusion on them yet, at the moment. Got three. Mega packs, promos, 2019 mega packs. And also, I would like to show y'all my new Dark Magician deck profile. Nothing competitive, but because I got some new cards to finish things off. So, like, yeah, just trying to make an okay deck. Nothing super powerful. Hopefully, y'all like it. All right, let's take a look at the promos first. Set the packs to the side. We got what we got. Yeah. Ooh, dusty. Dusty, dusty, dusty. Alright. We got a Neo Kaiser glider. Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Yo. The Winged Dragon of Ra. Oh, God damn it. Oh, Super Rare. Oh, Secret Rare Monster Reborn. And Dimension Shifter. Oh man, so close. Double Ra. Come on. That's alright though. Like, this thing is cool. Really wish I got an Obelisk instead. <laughs> right, what do you do? Neo Kaiser Glider. You can discard this card and one monster. Target one dragon. Normal in your graveyard. Special summon it. If this is sent to the graveyard. You can make all monsters your opponent currently control lose 500 until end of turn. Use this effect once per turn. So, decent stat. I think okay stats for level 6. Um, I guess it's an easier way to reanimate a blue eyes white dragon or something else. Normal monster though, so yeah. Blue eyes would be the target. Speaking of blue eyes, we got this bad boy. Alternative ultimate dragon. If a blue eyes, um, it uses three blue eyes, but if one of them is an alternative dragon, it gets an additional effect, which is, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? You, you're, found it. Your opponent cannot target this or destroy with card effects. Once per turn, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. But if you use an alternative as one of the fusion materials, destroy three and up to three instead so that's mega cool this card cannot attack the turn it is activated the turn the effect is activated so if you don't pop a thing with the effect you can just straight up blast someone that's mega cool eh, put that to the side the winged dragon of Ra. i like the art <laughs> i really just wish i got an obelisk instead i'm just, i have terrible luck with these but super shiny secret rare monster reborn that's nice. And Dimension Shifter. What do you do? Level 6. If you have no cards in your graveyard, quick effect. Send this from the graveyard, from the hand to the yard. Until the end of turn, any card sent to the yard is banished instead. Ooh. Spicy. I like it. Alright, them's the promos. On to the Mega Packs. Sorry about the harshness of the shadows. These lamps aren't positioned very high. I can do something about that. 
prop it up. Right, there you go. There you go. That seems like an okay thing to do. Let's open a mega pack. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Paladin of Storm Dragon. Salmon Great Sanctuary. Salmon Great Youth. Link Streamer. Trickstar. Delphindium. Dino Wrestler Cap Capaptera. Mm -hmm. Super Across Breed. Secret Rare Danger Mothman. Ultra Rare Danger Dogman. And a rare I cannot read your name. Sacred Noble Knight of King Kustenin, Kustenin, Vampire Red Brook Dragon, World Legacies Nightmare, Noble Arms, Clarence, okay, Gladiator Beast Dragress, Dragasses, 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 reading, <laughs> World Legacy Struggle, Clock Spartoy, nice, second pack of the Megatons, ooh, Oops, don't, don't, in the corners. Recon Scout for Hire, Vampire Scarlet Scourge, World Legacy's Corruption, Trickstar Bouquet, Waking the Dragon, Vandred Nightmare, Vandred, sorry. Imp, Imp Cantate, Imp Camp, Canta, Canta, oh, uh, right, Imp Cantation, Talismandra, in Super Rare, Secret Rare, Thunder Dragon Roar, Nightmare Unicorn, in Ultra Rare, and in rare, Realm of Danger. Goki Octo Stretch, Crusade Vanguard, Crystal Conclave, Sky Striker McHarmony, Hercules Base, Bravo Fighter for Hire, Sinet Fusion, ooh. ooh. Last Mega Pack. Let's see what we got. Oops, careful with the corners of the cards. That out of here. Paladin of Storm Dragon again. <laughs> FA Dark Dragster. Salmon Great Jack Jaguar. Transfamiliar. Perfor Perform a Pal. And Samurai -ger. Whoa, that's uh, like a Super Sentai type of name. Concentrating Current. FA Dawn Dragster. Oh, cool. I think it's my second one because I got the Dual Devastator version. Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon, Danger Tsuchinoko, Cybers Magician, Terrifying, Terrifying Toddler of Torment, Ballista Squad, Mini Boral Dragon, Vandred Daybreak, Crusadia Regulex, and Sim Tabler. Tablier. Alright, that seems alright. That's I, I mean, I don't know if it's alright, but these look cool. Onto the halls outside of the Mega Pack. I was also able to find a Facebook group that sells Yu Gi Oh! TCG cards in this country because um, most of the, of the things you'll find here is actually OCG products, which I cannot read because Japanese and I do not have the patience to just learn everything from that. So I would just like to play with some English cards that I have. So, and um, I also got these along with when I purchased the Mega Packs. I met up with the guy who sold me these Dark Burning Magic, Secret Rare, Dark Burning Attack, Secret Rare, uh, Super Rare, Magician of Dark Illusions, and to top off the sets of Magician's Rod and Magician's Robe. It's because, like I showed earlier, I am slowly building up my Dark Magician deck profile. Boom. Not the best, but it's been fun using it so far. So for the decks, of course, we have the Dark Magician. All right, so from my original Dark Magician from the Yugi starter set, I also got the dual power version and I pulled this from a movie pack from the Secret Rare movie edition. Movie edition Secret Rare, sorry. So Dark Magicians, of course, run three because this is the deck centered around them and what they do casting big spells that's that's the boys and i also got two dark magician girls um this is from the legendary decks collection of yugi 
And this other one I pulled also from a secret edition movie pack. Dark Side of Dimensions. I also have one edition of Dark Chaos. Also from the Legendary Dex UV. Uh, I don't see a lot of people running this, but I do like the effect and, you know, stats are okay. When it destroys a monster by battle, it uh, banishes it instead also. So that's... That's done me well so far when I've been playing with some friends and so when I test the deck. Alright, next up we got, well as, as of right now since it's not a set, I got two Magician's Robe and two Magician's Rod. I might go for either a set of one or the other, maybe not both, not for both. Because uh, Magician's Rod I think definitely has a stronger effect. But Magician's Robe also makes it like easier to just get Dark Magician out, so I'm thinking about it. I might go for a set of Rod instead. As I, I see a lot of uh, lists that don't run Robe at all. Maybe that's for a good... I don't know. That might be the better play, but I do like these cards, so... Well, you know, complete the set just in case I have options. There you go. And we got two... Magician of Dark Illusions, just in rare. Um, I got the third one, because actually, before I found these at a, at a store, I, I actually already made the deal to get this one. But that's fine. I don't mind that. Oh, the, the glare, man. It's, ooh, ooh, big shines. Big shinies. That's, oh gosh, they're everywhere. <laughs> this is terrible, uh, I'm sorry. But yeah, um, just two for now. I usually don't get the, the chance to pop it out as often, even at two of. Plus, I, I prefer just having Dark Magician themselves out, but hey, like, he's got some cool effects. Also, when, on the field at least, it counts as a Dark Magician card too. Uh, one Breaker, the Magical Warrior. As I was slowly building this up, this used to be a three of. Because um, this originally was a spell counters type of Dark Magician deck, with uh, skilled Dark Magician being like the core of the game plan. The thing is, it's way too slow to get anything done with that. So, you know, um, Breaker though has a good effect to uh, eliminate one back row immediately upon normal summon. Like the stats is, you know, even on 1-9 he tends to die real fast. Just, he's primarily there for an effect. And even though spell count, they're all spellcasters really, but even though this is the very spellcaster matters type of deck, it is on theme, it's very, it's a Yugi card that he used. It was the card that Yugi does that video of where he just keeps drawing monster cards to attack Weevil over and over again with Berserker Soul. Alright, so I also have one Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, one of the old ass cards I pulled from back in the day. The thick borders on the side, you know, are evocative of that. Um, I just, I like the effect, plus it's a special summon. And I also have for Spice one Black Luster Soldier on way of the beginning because it's a similar effect to Chaos Archer, plus it's much like significantly stronger. Same exact summoning mechanic. And if you're wondering where do I get the light monsters, uh, right now I'm running also a set of Mystical Elf like as an early blocker I guess. And you know, once she she bites the dust, her value goes into these two. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's not great, but. I've found more success with having these than like another type, and I really, I don't know, personal favorite, Chaos Sorcerer. On to the spells, I have, um, because Dark Magician, I have, you probably expected, I have Fusion Monsters, so I have three sets of Eye of Timaeus. I will show the Fusion Monsters later. I don't have any other extra deck aside from Fusion Monsters for this, but I have to my is, is looks to be the way to go is our blah blah brewer when it comes to the dark magician stuff words I don't know I also got a set of dark magical circle one ultra rare and then two commons from that legendary heroes magical something magical hero so dark magical circle like I tried to run it without it and like this thing is too good the fact that it can dig for a card that mentions a spell or trap card that mentions Dark Magician in its text is great. Plus the effect where every time a Dark Magician like normal summons or special summons, 
and enter the battlefield trigger. It can banish a card on the opponent's side of the field. That is pretty significant. I would say... And how do I get Dark Magician out fast, you wonder? I have two copies of Dark Magic Curtain. So one in common and one in rare. Um, I don't know what set this is from. This common one is from the Legendary Yugi decks. Those decks were just not great, so I didn't mind like taking them apart. They were barely playable. They were like very evocative of the anime, which I appreciate. But yeah, like in terms of actually playing those decks, ooh, it's an unfun grind fest for most of the time. So yeah, that's where that went. And the idea for most of this deck actually came from that too. Like I just wanted to fuse all of them into make a in, and make a Dark Magician deck. Another way to special summon people out is. Dark Magic Veil, so this will pretty much target anyone here because spellcasters, right? Dark spellcasters. Not Mystical Elf, and I can't cast this with it, so that's fine. I wouldn't want a special summon Mystical Elf anyway. Um, another Dark Magician card. Cardsis. I got one Illusion Magic, just to tutor them out. It's a quick, quick play, which lets me... Um, it helps me summon Dark Illusion, because, you know, um, if I have Dark Magical Circle out, it can at least get Dark Magicians in my hand and maybe if I have another card, I can special summon it that way. Uh, one Dark Magic Attack, just to get rid of the back row. Um, this is the only one I have of this, so that's why uh, I opted to get the these earlier today. Dark Burning and Dark Magic Attack, because usually I run across more monster blockers than back row, at least in the games I played. We also have Dark Magic Expanded, um, mostly just for the protection part, but I don't mind the other effects. Plus, it's also a quick play, which helps me, you know, get these, get the illusion out and get like any of the, the magician's rod or rope cards to activate their secondary effect. One monster reborn, just because I'm gonna replace it with the, the secret rare I just pulled, and then one MST, some Space Typhoon, just to. Guarantee getting rid of a uh, back row card. Be it any continuous spell or trap or whatever. Problematic fields. Onto the spell. Onto the spell. Trap! Trap cards! I'm running two Magician's Navigation. I don't know if I should run three. I've been thinking about it. I wouldn't know what to cut. Because this is still a super greedy, like, I want to run cards that I like, <laughs> you know, type of deal. This is really good. The problem is if I don't have a Dark Magician in hand, it's not great, like it's a dead card. Because I can't get the secondary effect unless I special summon a DM from hand. Um, I also don't want to encounter a lot of illusion magic in hand. Like, running into one maybe earlier mid-game is okay. But like, if all of them are in the, the graveyard, like, or on the field, this thing this thing is not super great. Also, Magician's Nav becomes a sort of dead card in that, in that aspect. I'm running, uh, as another means to special summon Dark Magician, I'm running Dark Renewal, you know, as a form of straight-up removal as well. Then I can tutor out uh, like any Dark Spellcaster, actually. Not specifically Dark Magician, but, you know. It helps. I, this is from the... Like, th this Secret Rare promo is from the Legendary Dex UV collection as well. Um, I just, I, I like this card. I'm just running it because it, I think it's cool. Mirror Force because, because Mirror Force. Because Mirror Force. Um, Magician Circle, one, because uh, I have no real way to tutor out Dark Magician Girl. This is the, as far as I've used in my collection of cards at least, is the easiest way I can get a Dark Magician Girl out. Uh, I don't want to run multiples because I usually either go into one or two big attack, attack steps before the duel ends or I don't get to attack at all and just, you know, constantly get my board wiped and then all my creatures get, all my creature monsters get destroyed. So this is like, if, you know, if it resolves then free Dark Magician Girl then I can probably do something else. Maybe I'll add more once I put these in the deck, I'm, I'm thinking about it. One Call of the Haunted, you know, just reanimation, straight up. One Black Illusion as a form of protection. Um, I wouldn't, like, the, the, the stats were, oh, um, only monsters 
only dark spellcasters with attack 2,000 or more are like get the benefits of this. But you know, I don't mind the rod and the ropes going in the bin because they can come back in some way. Um, dark illusion. He gets hit by it. That's fine. He gets affected. Breaker. The illusion, whatever. <laughs> Chaos stars are sure. Like I don't mind protecting him for a turn. Um, usually because. When I have a Dark Magician out and I don't have any cards that like get the value of it to like um, say I don't have Dark Magical Circle out to get like the, the effect to, to banish, etc. etc. Or the Eye of Timaeus, or like I get the Eye of Timaeus after the turn Dark Magicians come out. They usually don't survive a turn, so this is like the other way I can sort of protect them aside from uh, Dark Magic Expanded. But DM Expanded requires me to have either Dark Magicians or Dark Magician Girls in the field or in the graveyard. This one is just pure, like, you know, I don't need, there's no sub-condition for me to get that effect, aside from the 2000 attack or greater. And then, because I saw it in a YouTube video or a Nico Nico Doga video, and I pulled it from a booster pack. Spiritual Swords of Revealing Light, if I can't get any of my game plan on fast enough, if I brick or, you know, just get bad draws repeatedly, um, I tried running, I used to run Swords of Revealing Light, but, you know, that only saves you for three turns, and you know, if it gets destroyed, it immediately, you just eat it. This one, I, I pay life, 1,000 to negate an attack, but I find that this helped me out of more situations than the regular Swords of Revealing Light. But just a one of, because, you know, Dark Magic Curtain is usually why I'm such at a low life total. But yeah, this, I, I also just like this card. Plus, it's, it's super pretty with the Secret Rares. You know, run your favorite cards. That's not be the best advice, but that's what I'm doing right now. And for the extra deck stuff, I'm running a Dark Paladin from the legendary Yugi decks. It's alternate art. I could just get the original art because it's not super expensive, but you know, I, I prefer this one. Plus, I wouldn't really need a Dark Paladin right now in any other deck, so I'm running this. The one I also got because of, I, when I didn't have the Eye of Timaeus, I only ran this, and this used to have Skilled White Magician and Buster Blader. That wasn't working out super great. <laughs> he barely comes out. Once he does, you know, he can only negate spells, not card effects, not traps. So he usually eats it almost immediately. But once I got the Eye of Timaeus, like it's much easier to get this out. Plus, I also can use this Amulet Dragon. This thing messes me up in Duel Links. I hate it so much. The Dark Side of Dimensions Yugi event ended not too long ago. Usually when he gets this out, you know, in the early turns, I am I have nothing to get rid of it with. So it's it's in here. Also, because I have Tamayos and Dark Magician Girl, I also run this lady as a form of removal. Plus, you know, pretty art and stats are okay. More, I'm more in for the effect and actually, you know, just because Dark Magician Girl looks so cool in it. That's my extra deck. I don't have any links or XCs just yet. I haven't had the need to add even generic links at the moment. I I haven't grasped, like, how to use XCs monster. I don't have any real good ones either. So right now, this is, you know, this is what I'm running. And I guess if you're looking at the theme, this is just, like, pre... We're, we're in Dual Monsters World, Yugi. Sure, I have some new cards, but as far as mechanics go, we're still in Dual Monsters realm. You know, Pegasus, Kaiba, Yugi, Jo no Chikun, that generation. We're not even in GX territory yet. But yeah, that's my Dark Magician deck profile, guys. Um, I will... I'm having fun playing this. Like, I've I played with the, the structure decks I've opened, you know, adding the three of of each and then building like the best version of that structure deck within its own card set but um, as you know me learning how to deck build I am having fun upgrading this slowly uh, I see like it looks like I really need the Apprentice of Dark Illusion the, the, the small Dark Magician lady that pumps up a uh, spellcaster for like a thousand attack power and then another effect that I can't remember at the moment but yeah so far I'm really happy with this plus like some of these cards just look amazing you know this looks incredible 
happy that I got it in secret. I kind of wish this was in secret too. But I, I really like this art as well. Um, if I could find this in Ultra, maybe I'll just put the secret away and as a display piece somewhere. This boy, this one stays. My OG, not first edition, but you know, the original boy, original DM. Still considering like what I do with the trap selection, you know. But that's that's it for this video, y'all. Nothing, nothing super complex. Whoa, we're going a bit longer than usual, though. Yeah, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As you know, smash that like button if you like what you saw. If you like what we do, we do a lot of things on this channel. Um, the, mostly the unboxing stuff is me because I, I buy a ton of crap and I, I know I like I, I collect toys. I collect trading cards. Now, now I do. I play a lot of card games right now. Um, video games. We, we we've let's played on this I think at least once. This channel. If you like what we do, the skits, the 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 content, the podcast which is the primary thing of this. Hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. You know, thanks for hanging out. And as always, y'all, keep going. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.